Hello, barbecue enthusiasts. It is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. Merry Christmas. Much going on other than that it's the three days of Christmas barbecue. What's on today? Got a couple of small briskets there and three racks of ribs for us. It's quite an honor. We have some rancher friends. And those briskets are from their livestock. Not very live anymore. But they asked me to prepare those for their Christmas dinner. Again, an honor, and I'm all too happy to do it. It is day two of Christmas Q, the eve of Christmas Eve. And what do we have on the cooker today? A couple of turkeys. That one is our Christmas dinner. Christmas Day. This one is uh, one some friends of ours asked me. I wouldn't smoke for them, so big bird. Uh, this one weighs 20 pounds. I forgot to check the tag. And then tomorrow, prime rib on the PK. It is day three of Christmas Q. It is Christmas Eve 2020. At some point I had mentioned an advantage of wrapping brisket is the jus that you get uh, at the end of the cook. And we typically have quite a bit of that left, but sometimes the uh, foil gets uh, punctured and it leaks out or, or uh, you just use it all up. And you find yourself in a situation where you need a little au jus for your uh, meal, whatever that happens to be. We've gotten to a point where we put it on our steaks and everything. Tonight, I uh, actually got a couple of firsts going here. I'm using the PK360 to cook a prime rib for the first time ever. And I also attempted to use this uh, little gadget here. This is a little riser that gives you a little extra grilling space. I had originally put the, uh, the roast on top of that. But uh, there's about a 75 degree difference between the, uh, the lower rack and this up here. I was trying to cook about 225 down here. And having it on top of the uh, rack there was about 300 degrees. No es bueno. And I'm a little disappointed that didn't work out because it would have been uh, it would have been just perfect to uh, to be able to have the roast on top and have the pan underneath that, uh, getting some of the drippings or the fond. I uh, generally don't get too much because of the low temperatures. It doesn't drip very much until you start doing the reverse sear on this. But uh, yeah, that would have been a nice setup. But uh, temperatures just weren't working out. I digress a little bit, but uh, I got the uh, the roast on here, and what's next to it is my uh, homemade jus, au jus. Four ingredients is all you need to make this. Water, bouillon, about a pat of butter per cup of uh, jus you're going to do. And I double up the bouillon, whatever, uh, whatever it calls for per cup of water, uh, I do too, just to give it a little more body. Uh, and then, as I say, a pat of butter for each cup you do. And then at that point, you can put whatever you want in there. Garlic, parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme, Worcester sauce. Uh, but the other essential ingredient, the fourth ingredient, is smoke. Uh, as long as you have the, uh, the bouillon, butter, and smoke, you've got a pretty passable au jus. So that's the, uh, that's the tip of 2020. That's, uh, that's I think, about it. Other than, have a very Merry Christmas. And I didn't think it was possible to get worse than 2020, but now I'm not so sure. Nonetheless, have a very Happy New Year and a prosperous 2021. Have a dandy day.